Good afternoon. Good, uh, <laughs> this is Linda. <laughs> and Charlotte, I threw her off because she thought I was going to say, this is Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> We're being silly this afternoon and playing with baby rattles. Yay! Yay! Oh my goodness, we've got some pretty girls here today for Sunday's Best. And I know you all enjoy seeing the babies are dressed up, and I do too. And um, so we've got Sunday's Best here today. And I want to say, Linda Deskins, you are the bomb. Thank you so much for these offering to sell me these dresses. Oh, they're, they're just like what Shanna wore when she was little. These kind, I remember, were like at department stores like Sears, JCPenney's, even Kmart. I kind of remember one of them, I think. They're just darling. And um, she sold these to me because she knows I love vintage. And my new girls, I want them to have dresses on. And I love cotton dresses. So this worked out really, really good for us, didn't it, Linda? Very good. So we have our little girls here. So and this is Betsy and this is Elizabeth and Betsy has on a pink dress and it is just so it just pretty. screams 60s or 70s it's got a little tulip here and all this little rickrack here a lot of you girls young girls I know when you're showing the dresses you say I, I forgot what that's called and I, I know that's true because they didn't have that since you've been around but the little, this is called Rick Rack. The little up and down, up and down. And when Rick Rack came out, they put it on everything. And you'll see it still on vintage clothing or people that try to do reproductions of vintage clothing and get it as close to um, original as they can. You'll see a lot of Rick Rack. And then these little booties are so cute. Crystal brought those back to us from the Rose Show, and she's already kicked one off, but that's okay. <laughs> she likes her little foot up and her little hand. She can hold her own toy. Look at me messing with her when she's asleep. <laughs> Look at her hold her toy, though. I don't think it's just so cool. She's actually got that in her, in her hand. It's so neat. And she's got a little peak headband on and her head's all hair's all put up and she's got a real pretty little passy little flowers and pearls on it and this I, this passy never does really fit anybody very well but it just fits Betsy perfectly yes and Elizabeth <laughs> now she has got on a beautiful little green dress and it actually has yellow flowers and purple flowers embroidery in these two panels and then a little bonnet and then her passy is a Winnie the Pooh and she's got a green pacifier holder on because we have a tendency to lose pacifiers now, we need passy holders, but we want some bling bling passy holders. If anybody makes beaded passy holders, um, I sure would like to buy a couple, especially if they were pearl or... I, I've got crochet now, and I bought from Kimberly, and I would like to have some bling bling ones, some jeweled ones. So if you know of any, if you'd let me know. I sure would appreciate that. And this is her little doggie she's got, but Mr. Rabbit's right here with her, as always. And they're just precious babies. They're our new babies, and we're so proud of them, aren't we, Linda? Very much so. Betsy Sage. That's a pretty name. Mm -hmm. Betsy Sage. Aren't they pretty? And Elizabeth Grace. That's a pretty name, Elizabeth Grace. Mm-hmm. And um, Betsy was painted by Art Dolls by Asha. And we got this one at the doll show. And she was painted by a wonderful artist that is from, uh, where's she from? South Africa. 
and all her information and how to get a hold of her is on the box opening. And then Asha, Art Dolls by Asha, she's right here on, on our YouTube. So you don't have to go far to find a good artist. I've been hearing a lot of talk about artists and scamming artists and this and that. Why you want to go somewhere you don't know anything about somebody? That's what I want to say. I mean, come on. We have got some wonderful artists right here in our community. And I have got babies from lots of them. Um, I've got babies from Ems and Lexi, from Yogi, from uh, Kim, from Art Dolls by Asha. Who else local that's in the Uri Born community? A bunch. A bunch. You really don't have to look any further. Um, Yogi does beautiful ethnic babies. And I know I'm leaving some people out, but I'm just talking about the ones I bought from. My first baby was from Asha. And then, uh, you know, there's just people here that would do you a good baby, um, fair. And there's no need for you to have to go to eBay or somewhere like that when we have so many people within our own community that are trustworthy. Bat? I don't know, a pet. B-E-T-H. Uh-uh. Oh, Beth. Uh-huh. She's, she, yeah, Beth. Now, uh -huh. she's not real active in the regular community, but Linda's right. Beth, that painted, um, she'll be in the next one. Uh, she, not only did she, did I buy one from her, but she's gifted us. Now, she's an excellent artist, and I'm talking about excellent, and she is so fair. She has a Facebook page. Her babies, she uses really pretty kits, usually beautiful kits, and she does an excellent job. So there's another one that I've gotten a baby from. You just have to look around and ask. There's no need for you to go to an unknown artist or, you know, use someone that, that you know that you see us do box openings and are pleased. I have never gotten a baby. Um, one time I did. Uh, just one time, but it was no problem. And it was a bu buying a used baby, but it worked out real good. But I have never bought a new baby um, that that I have had any problems with. Now, I think I am very particular I don't like thick eyebrows. I don't like pluggy hair. I don't like veins that show up a lot. Um, I don't like a ton of modeling. There's a lot of things that I do and don't like. I find myself pretty particular, but not to the point where no one can please me. These are not ever going to be perfect. And that's why I probably could not tolerate a silicone because I have yet to have anyone tell me that they are really, 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 really pleased with everything. There's always a crack, a peel, or something, and I'm sure that that's not true when you get on up around five to ten thousand dollars, but I would never spend that on a, on a hobby, so I would never have one of those unless I win the lotto, or one of y'all win it. <laughs> so, for an average middle class person like myself um, at retirement age that is a little bit frugal but still likes to look for the best quality for the money there are lots of people right here on YouTube that can make you an excellent baby and save you so much heartache so don't get in a hurry uh, look at pictures talk to the person talk Ask for references, you know, but don't don't just get in a hurry and go out there and buy one off of eBay. There's scammers out there, just like there are everywhere else, and the internet has opened the door for a whole bunch of new scams. It makes it very convenient for scammers. Now, that's my opinion that you don't need to go any further. There's um, there's Stephanie and there's Jackie and there's um, well, I've just been calling out the names as they come to me. Ems and Lexi and there's Beth and um, Yogi, Asha. These are the ones that I've thought of that I have bought from and that I'm very, very pleased with. And if you'd like to ask me any other questions about these artists 
or their quality of painting, just ask me. I'd be happy to talk to any of you. It's If I don't respond to you, it's not because I don't want to. Sometimes I'm just really busy. You know, my mother is in the nursing home. Is still trying to rehab. The uh, infection came back in her leg, but it's clearing up again. And uh, Dad's still at home. And it's just kind of crazy around here. But I always have time for a friend to answer a question and help you find a, a reborn. Now, these are little cotton dresses, a cotton blend. Mostly cotton, and boy, I love them. Cotton is a cool fabric. Um, we need to use more cotton because we we need to keep the production here in the United States. And uh, with the blends now, you don't have to iron. We used to have to iron everything that was cotton. You don't no more. That's a whole other video, right, Linda? Uh huh. <laughs> we used to iron, um, but we don't iron no Nobody more. Nobody irons. Uh -uh. We press now, but not really. Just get down to that ironing. But this is a fun day for us because. We have dressed our babies in these vintage clothes, and some of them still had the um, the tag on them when we got them. And then I think our sweet Linda Deskins is another artist that I did not mention. I have bought a baby from Linda Deskins that <clears throat> I was very pleased with, and I'll have to show her to you. She has been doing reborning for many, many years, and she does a great job her rooting is is absolutely beautiful she dresses the babies beautiful that's linda deskins d is in d dog e s k i n s she's another one of our youtubers oh yeah see i almost let left linda out it's not i'm trying to it's because i have senior moments but i've mentioned quite a few here that i have personally bought from and would buy from again and Linda was so sweet, Linda Deskins. She sent us pacifiers. And I was so happy to get them. Thank you, Linda. Uh, not only can you buy beautiful dolls here, I am especially proud of this. Mickey Mouse. I've got to get some Mickey and Minnie things. I have nothing for these girls to wear for that day, Mickey and Minnie or Disney Day. Mm -hmm. So I've got to work on that. I can't find anything that I think is cute, though, but I'll work on it. But Linda Deskins is very fair. Her prices are excellent. Um, you will find these people prices ranging from two fifty to a thousand, depending on what kits you want, how you want it done, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you can work it out with them, and they're all very kind, honest people. Every one of these people that I've talked to, Art Dolls by Asha, Linda Deskins. We've got so many. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you about that. Don't become discouraged by all the talk of artists that people have had bad luck with. Because for as many as they've had bad luck with, there's twice as many that we've had good luck with. And especially here in our reborn community, I tend to think that we have people here that are pretty honest and are um, trying to please. Sure do. We sure do. Okay, now. So this is our part one of our little tiny babies that we love so much. And we're in a pink dress with tulips, a green dress with little pansies. And we're going to come back with part two and show you two more babies. And we hope you're having a good Sunday. And thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you for taking time to comment on our videos. There's so many people out in the reborn community that we don't know. I mean, there's thousands of people, Linda. Nice people. Nice people. So if y'all could hook us up with some new subs, we would really like to see some new babies and and um, we just run out of people. Yeah, I know they're out there, but I need somebody to help me find them. So if you know someone that I'm not subbed to, give me a, a PM and let me know because I love looking at babies and I'd like to see some different ones. Okay, well, thank y'all for watching, and we'll be back shortly. Bye -bye. God bless. Bye-bye.